So, I have a problem. It's more of an idea. Let me show you. With a little bit of ingenuity, you can generate movement. Rotational movement, to be specific. This is what you would call a DC motor. And by would, I mean you should, because, well, that's what it is. Not a great one, though, uh, but don't worry, because in the good old days, they built better ones. And the first thing they used them for was fans. Fans are great for a multitude of purposes, but my favorite one is propulsion. If you give them enough juice, and by juice I mean electricity, don't pour juice on your fan, you can generate propulsion and use them to fly an airplane. Wait, am I telling you that's a fan? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. That's a fan, that's a fan, that's clearly a fan, and that's a very cute fan. I mean you. Don't forget to subscribe. This is a special fan. And by special I mean it has a duct around it. It's called an electric ducted fan, or like the cool kids call it, an EDF. I'm not cool or a kid, so I call it a fan. The duct helps a lot, but what really makes this fan so special is the motor. This is a PLDC motor, which stands for Brushless DC Motor, which I personally think it's a pretty silly name, because, well, as far as things go, I'm also brushless. I don't really have a brush. Also, this doesn't really use DC current, it uses post current, so it should be called a post electric motor, or PEM for short. To show you how a PEM works, I'm gonna need some more magnets, um, some thin copper wire, and my 3D printers. This is a magnet, and this is also a magnet. Well, it is while I pass current through it. If I stop it, it stops being a magnet and starts being just a coil of wire, which is fine. This is an electromagnet, and the cool thing about it, like I said, is I can turn it on and off. If I get clever about this, I can get a bunch of these and kind of simulate rotational movement. Let me show it to you. So this is our PAM, um, this is a circuit to pulsate the current, this is a battery, this is a speed controller, and this is a tomato. I don't need a tomato, and neither do you. Using my speed controller I can control the speed and make it not zero, but actually some speed. Well, by some speed I mean like thousands of RPMs. Let's go, there you go. By redesigning the top part, I can even add blades and turn it into a fan. You can also turn yourself into a fan by subscribing to the channel. Am I overdoing the joke? Please subscribe. Noise. So this is an actual fan, or a regular fan. And this is a centrifugal fan. Let's redesign this so I can turn it into a centrifugal fan and finally explain my problem slash idea. So, as you can see, I 3D printed an impeller, which is basically like a propeller, but it impels. <laughs> so, this is a centrifugal fan, the one that I was talking about. And instead of sending air backwards to create thrust, it sends it outwards to increase its pressure. Then it constricts the flow and accelerates it backwards to create thrust. I know this sounds like a lot of extra steps, and they are, but this kind of stuff is helpful for jet engines, so bear with me. Here's my problem slash idea. Um, what if I took the motor out of this EDF and I built a centrifugal fan with it? In theory, they should produce the same amount of thrust, right? And this EDF, it is small, but it does produce a lot of thrust. But the problem is, the centrifugal fan that I build with it doesn't, which is weird. I designed this centrifugal fan with a simple impeller and it worked, but because it has no structural support on the top, it starts expanding and rubbing on the casing. So I closed it and it did better. Or at least it could spin to its maximum RPM, but still not as good as the actual fan. I thought I needed to improve my impeller game, so I studied the Dyson fans. They make the best centrifugal fans on the market, so they should make the best impellers too. I didn't want to destroy my fan though, so I went dumpster diving and I found a broken Dyson vacuum that uses the same style of impeller. 
I copied it, I printed it, and I tested it. And it didn't do that well. Yeah, this entire video is basically a cry for help. Because I really don't understand why the thrust on the EDF is not the same as the centrifugal fan. Because it should be. I'm using the same motor. Am I designing something wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Maybe the motor is not the ideal for this kind of stuff? I don't know. Please help me. If you know the reason why the thrusts are not matching, please explain it in the comment section down below. Um, if you have a better design and you want to share it with me, or if you want to alter my design to make it better, you can get the models also in the description down below and 3D print them. If you don't have a 3D printer, I can help with that. On my last video, I gave away a 3D printer to the most liked comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The winner was Tomás Rodríguez. If you also want to win a 3D printer, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will receive a brand new 3D printer. Um, well, this is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya!